Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah and this week I created a small game using Unity called Escaping Hearts for the TV Game Jam. As some of you may know, I'm currently working on a puzzle platformer game and I've actually made four devlog videos about it. Though I'm really enjoying working on that world, I felt like a small fun break taking part in a game jam would be nice. And the theme of the TV Game Jam was one I really liked. Basically, developers were challenged with making a game inspired by a TV show in two weeks. I didn't work on Escaping Hearts for two weeks though, only three days. I'm still really happy with the end result, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience and share the process I went through to create this small video game. So first of all, I had to decide which TV show I wanted to get inspired from to create my game. The first answer that came to my mind was Game of Thrones which for those who don't know is an amazing fantasy slash medieval story about kings, war, betrayal, love, magic, dragons, with deep and very interesting characters. I'm in love with this world and I'm actually reading the books now which inspires the show in the first place. So I thought I would try and create a game called Trial by Combat. In short, in the world of Game of Thrones, people accused of some wrongdoing can ask for the gods to judge them and have someone fight for them the winner representing the god's will. In the fourth season, there's a trial by combat that takes place between Oberyn Martell and a giant knight known as the Mountain. This scene is absolutely epic and the conclusion horrifying. I must have rewatched the fight a dozen times already. So yeah, making a sort of fighting game in the world of Game of Thrones based on that trial by combat sounded like a lot of fun. First of all, I put together this little scene where the player controls a cartoony looking Oberyn that hops around with a long spear and slashes to pieces his foes and would eventually face off against the mountain in a last epic fight. But this didn't feel very original and my heart just wasn't really into it. Still hooked though on the Game of Thrones idea, I made a more interesting prototype where the main character was made up of long arms he could left click on and control with the mouse. Some arms acting as weapons whereas others acted as heart containers that needed to be defended. Still I couldn't really figure out how to build a game around this, so I made another prototype where the character is a snake like thing that has multiple joints which can be rotated around to dodge hazards. And that was a bit rubbish, so after a whole day, I didn't really have much, except a few weird ideas. The next day, still liking the feeling of controlling arms and manipulating them, I played around with it a bit more in Unity and realized that the game didn't feel right, mostly because there was too much to control, too many arms, so I cut it down to only two, leaving me with a weird thing that I found very fun to control and move around. I made a quick level and immediately felt like there was a lot of potential for interesting challenges. However, I was a bit at a loss on how to fit that Game of Thrones theme and story into it. The gameplay here didn't fit trial by combat at all. It was just about two vulnerable objects connected to one another, moving together, each dependent on each other. And so I simply decided to ditch the Game of Thrones idea and instead base my game on another TV show I fell completely in love with this summer, called The End of the Effing World. It's basically about two damaged teenagers running off together to escape their dreadful lives and ending up on a wild adventure committing countless crimes along the way. It's full of awesome dark humor, fantastic acting and a really nice love story. And so the two objects in my game became hearts, which you can move around and have to dodge traps, angry shapes that represent police officers and knives, creepy pedophile hands and more. I basically wanted the player to also go on that crazy adventure the two teens went through and face the same dangers and obstacles such as the police and perverts. At one point the connection between the two hearts, which is basically just a line render component, could collide with hazards no problem. But that didn't feel right at all. I really wanted to drive home that feeling that the two were connected, dependent on each other but also more vulnerable because of it. So a few bugs later I got a 2D edge collider following the line render, getting the player losing health if it collides with anything. Initially the levels were randomly generated with a set of spawn points instantiating a random template of obstacles and traps. But balancing this was tough and very time consuming. 
and more often than not, the levels felt a bit boring, too challenging, or too easy. So I went with handcrafted levels instead, and I think the game is a lot better for it. There's 11 levels in all, though initially there were only 8 to match up with the amount of episodes there are in the TV show, but I had too many ideas and 8 was just a bit too short. I wanted to implement some cool ideas I had, like having the hearts grow spikes which stops them from touching each other, forcing the player to not only dodge hazards but also hearts. And of course, this time I had my bro Liam playtested the game nice and early, and I quickly realized my levels were way too hard, and lots of bugs previously invisible to me came to light thanks to Liam poking and prodding the world. I also had to spend lots of time on scene transitions, which in this case is a cool blood smear effect. The reason I chose black and this fierce, very saturated red for my game was because of the show that uses those two colours for the title and credits and stuff. Those two colours also make me think of pain, anger, sadness and violence, which are themes and emotions very often encountered in the show. To be honest, I'm not too crazy about the art I made for this game, a bit too simple and stimulating perhaps, but I am quite happy about how it fits in with the end of the effing world. I also took the time to create a main menu and a little intro scene, which is made up of a bunch of images that I animated to pop up on screen one at a time, while the camera moves to the right. And of course, the game didn't feel very alive or interesting without some sounds and music. I didn't have the time or the energy to make the music for the game, so I simply used a soundtrack I thought would go very nicely with my creation. The Beauty of Love by Akash Gandhi, which I found in the YouTube audio library. And then with my microphone and audacity, I made some sound effects, like the pop when you select a heart, or the squishy sounds left by the heart's gooey trail, or the slushy noise for scene transitions. And once that was done, I tweaked the level some more, fixed one or two minor bugs, and built the game, which can now be played directly inside your browser on itch.io and Newgrounds. I would love to get your feedback on it, and let me know if you finish it. It's a tough little game, but again, I'm happy with it. I love how the hearts are connected like that, and how they rely and hinder each other. I can think of many ways I could expand on this project, such as have the player controlling three or even four hearts at once to bump up difficulty in an interesting way, or have hearts that also act as a weapon that can be used to fend off hazards and enemies, or a heart that moves on its own, leaving the player with the ability to only control one heart and the direction of the line render connecting the two. But of course I have my other game I want to finish, but who knows, when I've completed it, I might come back to this little game and expand and polish it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Here's an extra thank you to these awesome people who support me and my content financially by Patreon. Next week I'll be in the mountains for a nice winter holiday, so there won't be any new videos until the week after that. In the meantime though, why don't you try creating a small game for the TV Game Jam? There's still plenty of time left, and I would gladly give whatever you make a try. Also consider joining my own Game Jam, which I'm hosting at the end of the month. It's going to be a ton of fun. Oh, and I also wanted to give a shout out to Tim Ruswick from Game Dev Underground, congratulating him for completing his game, Philophobia, which is launching on the 10th of February, so in about two days. It's a brutal platformer with a deep, very interesting story, also featuring lots of hearts and spiky things. He's a really cool dude and I sure hope his creation does well. I'll definitely be giving it a good try when I come back home. Alright, stay tuned everyone. Cheers! Cheers.